Hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. In this top tip, we're going to be looking at the chamfer tool. So the chamfer tool bevels not only polygons, but edges and points. So I've got this basic little car here, and what I'll do is just show you a quick example of how you can do that. So let's start with polygons. So I'm going to select the two polygons at the front of the car that's representing the lies. Go to the chamfer tool, and then I'm going to simply click to my right in my top view to chamfer the actual polygons so if you see you've got an oval shape so that's how to use the basics of the polygons so let's now let's have a go at doing let's say edges so let's think about what edges we want to do so let's, let's go to the back uh, and let's switch to edges here at the bottom Let's select just this edge and I want to hold shift and select this edge here. So I'm selecting the bottom and top edge and then go to chamfer. And again, let's click and drag. And what we're doing is we're dragging and chamfering the actual edges. So we're getting a, a different shape at the back here like that. So that's how easy the actual edges are. But let's say we wanted to say do the same with the sides here so selected both sides go to the chamfer tool and let's chamfer again and get in this shape like so and the other option you can do is you can also do it with the actual points so let's switch to points Let's select these two points here, go to chamfer, and again, let's click and drag. And as you can see, it's actually creating a new polygon, chamfering out the points like so. And that's the three basic options within the actual chamfer tool. So if I just go back to the chamfer tool, and uh, let's select these two edges and this time we'll click on the chamfer tool and bring up the numerical now based on what options you're using or which elements so so I have edge polygon or numerical based on which one you choose at the bottom and go on to the chamfer tool you'll get different options so when you're chamfering a polygon it will give you a, a sub patch friendly version so if your object sub patch and you're working on it it will give you that option to make sure that when you're chamfering it it's sub patch friendly you can group the polygons and you can compress the edges as well and you've got a little numerical here as well so there are a few options in here and you've got different views based on what you're doing of how you can view the actual way the tool works now as well as working on objects that aren't sub patched if i just go to a basic sphere so i've got a basic sphere here and it's sub patched so let's go to make sure with edges and let's choose some edges and I'll just show you how the sub patch in chamfer works. So I've got these edges. So let's go to multiply chamfer and it's got sub patch friendly. So let's say I didn't have that on and I tried to chamfer it. Because the object sub patch and you're trying to use the chamfer tool without sub patch friendly, it's not working. So if we click the sub patch you can see it's keeping it sub patch and it's giving you the new chamfered objects which means that once you've done that you can then switch to your polygons you could select these new polygons and then simply use maybe the thicken tool and then thicken that object and the new polygons out like so and that's the basics of the chamfer tool thanks for listening